It's like a spritzer of whoop of blah, 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 blah. Hey everybody, looks into swirl here, new day, new cut project. I have a 20 ounce skinny hog dole from Stainless Steel Depot, spray painted black on my turner. This is just a regular two to three RPM turner, nothing fancy. And I'm gonna move it aside because I wanna show you everything else. This is just one sample here. I took a whole bunch of glitters from Glitter Chimp. I specifically picked out from my collection all that were ultra fine and color shifting. Those were the two things I was looking for. And then I put some of each glitter into one of these uh, mica slash glitter misters. It's a pump spray, so ultra fine or smaller. So you can use for micas as well. What I did was I took all of the ultra fine color shift glitters I had from Glitter Chimp. So this is Enchantment. We also have Sweet Tart and Powder Blue, Sweet Pea, Glass Slipper, Honeydew, Honey Lavender, and Winter Green. So I have all of these ultra fine color shifting glitters. And the reason I wanted to pick the color shifting is because we are going to spray them onto a black cup. That will bring out the color shifting effect more than any other base color. That doesn't mean they can't be used on a white cup or a light pink cup or a light blue cup, or you can use them on any color cup you want, but the color shifting properties come out more when they're on black. So that's why I picked a black cup. I am going to put resin on this, not very much, a thin layer, and I'm gonna spray. I'm, we're just, we're gonna mist glitter on here and we're gonna see what happens. Cause I don't know, I wanted to try this for a long time and I haven't done it yet. And you're gonna see it with me. It may be spectacular, it may be a big mess. Don't know, it's an experiment. And I think what I'm going to do, instead of just, you know, spraying everything and having it literally all mixed together, I am going to try and do light to dark. I'm gonna try. Now these come out, in a puff. I mean, it's it's like a spritzer of liquid, except there's no liquid involved, but it comes out in a in a puff. So it's not like I'm going to be, you know, concentrating fine lines. That, that's not how it's gonna work. And we'll just see, we'll just see how it looks. Okay, so just briefly, before I gear up, I put my colors in order. So I'm going to go with Honey Lavender, Honey Dew, Powder Blue, Sweet Tart, Sweet Pea, Glass Slipper, Winter Green, and Enchantment. After I gear up, that's what I'll be doing in that order down the cup.
And we're back. Okay, this dried. It is beautiful. I absolutely love how it looks. I wasn't sure at first until I figured out that whole double thumb pump action. I was having a lot of trouble getting enough glitter to do much of anything in the different areas of the cup. But once I got the hang of it, and then I went back and redid the earlier ones to make sure I got good coverage. I wanted to let you know, I'm guessing a few people noticed all of the, um, all of the clouds of glitter that weren't going on the cup were settling around it, and I didn't have any special paper underneath. But using my chip brush, I did collect virtually everything that fell on the table and it went into my dump jar, so there was no waste, fear not. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some fast set. I have the new quick set, the Speed Dry Epoxy from Mr. Nola's Glitter. I'm going to mix that up and put on a layer of that. It should dry in a couple hours and then we can move on to figuring out the decal. And we're back! I've done some light sanding. I regret not showing you how gorgeous it looked because what you're going to see now is, is all kind of sanded and scuffed, but you'll see it in the big reveal out in the sunshine. But it's time now for the decal. So I'm going to put the decal on as though this is for a right-handed person. All right, I picked a saying that I've, I've had on my list of snarky sayings to put on tumblers, and I like this one. Question is, which one do I use? And I think I'm going to go with the slightly fancier version. This is a script font instead of a printed font. Single and fabulous. And I'm going to put it right about here. It does, believe it or not, go with the purple that's part of the shift down in the, um, the bottom layer, which I believe was enchantment. There we go. Single AF. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tag this down with a little bit of UV resin, very thin layer over the vinyl, and stick it out in the sunshine. And then I'm going to put a final layer of resin over the whole thing, which is why I sanded everything to get it smooth first. Took care of cleaning the rim up. And then unless I run into any problems that I need to bring you back to tell you about. You'll be seeing this next in the big reveal. So here we go. 